Hey guys, it's Mike here for you, and I've got one more tobacco review for you tonight. This is going to be number two of my round number three samples from hookahfina.com for the contest going on at hookahhelper.com. So, of course, a big thanks to Hookahfina and to Hookah Helper for putting the contest on and sending the samples out. Uh, number two of actually three samples that I got for round number three. Again, you get two samples and then they're giving you a bonus sample as well. So, number two is going to be Hookahfina Citrus Mint. And as always, guys, I've got it ready to go. And this time is going to be in my Crown Hookah's Economy Micro Funnel. Again, as with all Hookah Fina, it's a very brown, undyed tobacco. Kind of a medium fine cut. Uh, very few stems. And very, very wet. So, again, you're going to want to use a funnel of some sort or a Vortex or even a Crown Classic. And guys, there is no doubt that this is citrus mint. Got a very strong smell of citrus and a very strong smell of mint. Um, as far as the mint smell, mint. As far as the citrus smell, kind of hard to uh, really distinguish that. It's, um, I want to say more of a lime citrus possibly a lemon lime, but I think it's predominantly lime. Very nice smell to it. Guys, I do know that mint really can complement anything, uh, any kind of flavor that is, uh, but it really complements citrus, citrus flavors, so definitely has a good smell to it. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, get things going. Looking forward to really trying this one, guys. It really smells great. So uh, I want to get it going for you. And um, once I got some smoke built up, kind of come back to you, uh, get you up to speed as far as the flavor goes, and show you some of the smoke. So until then, guys, I'll be right back. Hey, guys, back again. And I am going to go ahead and continue on, give you my final thoughts of Hookafina Citrus Mint. Again, earlier on, I showed you the cut of it, told you about the smell, which to recap was basically, as the name says, it is a citrus mint smell. Um, definitely smelled the mint, definitely smelled the citrus. And the citrus that I smelled was, <clears throat> to me, really smelled like a lime-based citrus. Maybe possibly a lemon as well, but I think predominantly it was lime. So, my setup, I'm using my Cam Kamanja, my Crown Hookah's Economy Micro Funnel, single layer of heavy duty Reynolds wrap, uh, Narbis hose, and actually probably would equal to one Coconara. Uh, had a little bit of one going from my last bowl, and then threw another one on to get this one going. So, by now, about 20 minutes into the session I'd say it equals out to about one cool but let's go ahead and show you some smoke get them outside the wind really doesn't do me justice to show you the smoke but it's the price I gotta pay for not being able to smoke inside so just bear with me on that So, as always, excellent clouds. Never had any issues really with, with clouds as far as Hukafina goes. If you're wanting clouds, definitely uh, a brand to give a try. The flavor of this is just amazing. Um, <clears throat> mint is one of my favorite flavors. 
when it comes to tobaccos, uh, it always complements pretty much any flavor that you mix it with, especially citrus, and this is no exception. Tastes like it smells. Um, it's got a strong flavor. I'm definitely able to pick up both the elements, the citrus and the mint. On the inhale, I get a combo of the citrus and the mint, but more of the mint, or I'm sorry, more of the uh, citrus. But on the exhale, the mint really comes out, and I get more of the mint than I do the citrus, but I still am getting the citrus on the exhale. And, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to say that it's most likely a lime-based citrus. I'm really enjoying the uh, the mint coolness sensation on the exhale. Very very nice. If you like citrus, if you like mint, definitely one to go and pick up. Um, I like both. As far as smoking it, how much I've smoked it anyway, I wouldn't smoke it all the time. I do love mint, I do love citrus flavors. Uh, citrus, though, I find tends to give me, sometimes anyway, uh, some heartburn. So, I wouldn't smoke it every day just because I don't want heartburn every day. Um, not having too much trouble with this one. It is very good, it's got a strong flavor, uh, definitely holds true to its name. So, I think my rating, uh, again, because I wouldn't smoke it every day, I can't give it a 10 for 10. But if you like citrus, you like mint, uh, you might find this to be absolutely perfect and give it a perfect score. Me, I got to give it a 9 for 10. Very, very good and definitely a must try. So, uh, yeah, 9 for 10 I think is going to be fair. Very good. Again, guys, be sure to check out hookafina.com. Um, they have amazing tobacco, guys. I've, this is, uh, well, there's three samples to each round. This is number two of three on my third one. So that'd be eight uh, plus another flavor I had previously. So this is would be number nine, and every one of them, as far as flavor goes, smoke goes, um, just very good tobacco, totally legit. So definitely recommend checking them out. I want to give a special thanks to Hookah Fina for sending the samples out. Also another big thanks to Hookah Helper for putting the contest on. As always folks, if you're not a member yet, be sure to go and check it out. Um, anything you need to know Hookah, you're going to be able to find it there. And if not, all you got to do is ask somebody and we're always more than help, happy to help you. So again, thanks for watching guys. Hookah Fina Citrus Mint go and check it out. Until next time, guys, 9 for 10 for that citrus mint. Smoke on. See ya.